Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Eva Mateska. I'm a technical program manager on the TensorFlow team. Hi, my name is Zhitao. I'm a software engineer from Google's TensorFlow Extended team, TFX. Today, we'll be talking about the brand new feature of the addition of native Kara model support to TFX pipelines. So could you tell me what's TFX, what are TFX pipelines, and what is native Kara's model yeah, support? Happy to do that. TFX is Google's production production-ready machine learning platform. TFX Pipelines is something we released last year to bring the pipeline experience to open source users as well as Google Cloud users. And uh, the native Keras, native Keras support is something we, add, we started working from last October to making sure TensorFlow 2 users can use the native Keras API inside TFX to train their machine learning models. What can, I, what can I do with TFX pipelines? So you can ingest data into TFX, do data processing and data understanding, do feature engineering on top of your data, train a TensorFlow model, do model analysis and the model validation on your model, and then finally, when everything is ready, push the model onto production-ready serving solutions. Awesome. I'm excited to see the native Keras support. So what do, what do I do? Let me show that in this notebook. Okay. So this is a public notebook from TFX team to demonstrate how to use various components in TFX. Uh, this notebook is also written in native Keras. So I'm going to show how to do it that way. So to do that, we first, go, we first need to install TFX and the various softwares, okay. including TensorFlow and TensorBoard. We're making sure all the packages are preloaded and then making sure the version of software is correct. After that, we set up pipeline path to making sure we can correctly access all the data we need. Okay, and what kind of model will you be using and what kind of data? Uh, so the data set here is the public data, public taxi data set from Chicago, Chicago City. And the problem we are going to solve is try to predict whether the driver will receive a tip more than 20% of the fare, which we call oh. it a big tip. So we are going to download the example data to, mm -hmm. our, to the path, making sure the data here is loadable, check the first couple of lines. Okay. Then we create the interactive context, helping us to be able to run each component of TFX pipelines in the notebook. Is interactive, interactive context a new API? Uh, the interactive context is an API from last October. This can help us to run each component of the TFX pipeline in the notebook. Okay. So we'll, we first start with example gen. This ingests the data into the pipeline and transform them to TF examples. We can take the first couple of examples, making sure they're correct. Then we can use the statistics gen component to generate some statistics for the data. For can you tell me a little more about the statistics? Sure. The statistics help us for each of the features in the, in the data set, what's the distribution, how many non-empty records are there, mm -hmm. minimum value, maximum value, medium value, et cetera, et cetera. OK, cool. And uh, we can also generate a schema out of the data, which will tell us uh, on the aggregated view what the data, is really, what the data is, oh, looks like. Okay. And we can see, we can list out all the schemas from here. We can also use the example validator to making sure the data is correct. Now we can use transform to do feature engineering on top of our existing data. To do that, people simply write a pre-processing function, which which takes the raw, which takes the original inputs, and they're using using Python functions to define the transform on them. And we can easily capture all these transforms in the result. Now. To support native Keras, mm -hmm. we need to we need to, we ask users to write their tr tr TensorFlow training codes as if they're just writing the writing the Keras based code as is I in see. a normal normal environment. There, the problem the model type we are solving here is a wide and a deep model. We simply ask people to write some tr write their training code. This is this is a wide and deep model. You said yes, wide, uh, build Keras model. Mm -hmm. People can build a wide and deep classifier. And uh, once this classifier is defined using the native Keras API, they can wrap that in a run function. The run function will be then fed into the TFX trainer executor. Okay. Uh, we expect the function to export a saved model. After that, we kick off the training component, and we can see the training happened. OK, the Training awesome. really happened in the Jupyter notebook. We see these are, the, these are the features we are using. These are the dense features. These are the. These are the layers we used in the model. And we trained for 10,000 steps, and we exported the model at the end. Uh, so this is a lot of meaty content. I, how can I follow along at home? Sure. So feel free to check out the tensorflow.org slash TFX page. That is our home page. We have all the tutorials, API 
API docs as well as component guides available there. And feel free to reach out to us on either GitHub or the TFX Google group. And I have one last question for you, a high level question. Mm -hmm. How do I take this all to production? Oh, sure. Happy to do that. So to do that, you can simply use the pusher component to push the model onto various type of production-ready mm -hmm. serving solutions, including TensorFlow serving of uh, mo mo mobile, mobile devices using TensorFlow Lite or TensorFlow Hub. Thank you so much for showing me a little bit about the native Kara model support. And thank you for joining us. Thank you.